All right, guys, we're out in the salt marsh in um, eastern North Carolina, and um, we uh, were out here looking for the diamondback terrapin turtles, and uh, we managed to find two of them. Uh, these are actually Carolina diamondback terrapins, or Maloclemys terrapin centrata. Um, this is a male and female pair. This is an adult male and adult female. Uh, this is an uh, average sized adult. They get a little bit bigger. Um, they're fairly distinctive turtles because they're all, one of the only turtles that actually live in salt, salty conditions, like um, estuary conditions. And um, you'll find them um, basking on the tidal flats, the mud flats, and um, little tidal creeks and lagoons and stuff. Because uh, we were walking out here and there's just a bunch of these little isolated ponds and stuff. And we're seeing tracks everywhere. And it was just a matter of time before we found one. And uh, they're very beautiful turtles. The shell has like all these little designs on them. Um, and uh, the, the growth rings are very pronounced. Almost like an, it gives it an, an, an sculpted appearance. Almost like it's like sculpted into there. But um, yeah, the male, pretty easy to tell. Big thick tail. Female's got a long tail, but it's very slender. And uh, just the size will give it away. Males average about four to five inches, and they get about nine inches in length of shell. Um, the plastron is uh, just a yellow color with little dusky marks and stuff. And what's interesting is the skin, which is very soft and smooth. And uh, they're almost like a grayish teal color with all these little black spots and stuff. And uh, it's really cool. they got these little mustaches on their face, like a little dark markings. And uh, I'm not sure if the all males have the black head. But I noticed he's got a black head and she's got like a lighter colored head. Um, but uh, what's kind of sad is that these were actually once hunted almost to extinction um, for their meat. Um, so, uh, but they're making a comeback in a lot of places. And uh, as long as people just leave them alone, they should they should be able to thrive for the rest of I mean our, all our lives, you know. But um, very beautiful turtle. Um, this Carolina uh, um, diamondback terrapin differs from the northern. Diamond terrapin because the shell is more oval shaped, and uh, babies are about that big. Not very big turtles. Uh, they lay about up to 19, I believe, 18 eggs um, through April and May. So, uh, and she's probably laid her eggs already. Normally, you could feel them, and we don't feel any eggs. So, very beautiful turtles. They're very cute to me. Um, see the? They're just very cute turtles. Um, just very excited. Diamondback terrapins mainly eat uh, periwinkle snails, which are these little snails that cling to uh, the vegetation in the salt marshes. And they also eat clams and uh, worms and stuff. I'm pretty sure they eat uh, the little shrimp we've been finding, the fairy shrimp. But um, yeah, they, they range all the way up into New York. I almost dropped him. Almost all the way up into New York. And uh, they go the entire Atlantic coast onto the Gulf Coast, all the way to Texas. So they're pretty far ranging species. Um, oh, she's peeing. But uh, very beautiful turtles. Beautiful eyes, beautiful face. Very cute. One of my favorite turtles now. Um, so yeah. Just very unique habitat, very unique turtles, you know. Um, I think there's sliders and snapping turtles have been known to be found in uh, salt marshes, but not as common as these guys. Pretty much whenever you see habitat like this, you know there's uh, diamondback terrapins. Look at him go. You never know they're there, dude. 